A few weeks ago, I made a video where I talked about how to like start a studio in three months. And the goal of this was you've got the idea and you have maybe a bit of technical skills already and you wanna make your first game. And that video is like the best video our channel has done. So of course we got a lot of comments on it as well. And I think the question we got the most on that video is what if I don't really have any technical skills yet and I have just an idea? This is also a question that came in through our Discord sometimes as well. So I'm making this video for you who probably has an idea, who just knows they want to make games, but you know literally nothing else about making games. This is like some of the first videos you've seen about how do you actually get into game development and how do you make your idea reality. I'm assuming you have like zero experience in pretty much anything. Nothing in code, nothing in art, nothing in music, nothing at all. And I think that a good game starts with the idea. And that's probably the thing that you have as well now. Everybody starts their game usually with an idea of what they want to do. Either it's a story they want to tell or it's a mechanic they want to show and like try out or it's like some puzzles they've been thinking about. Usually the idea is the first thing that comes up. It's like, oh, let's take this game and this game and mash them together to get like this beautiful monstrosity, which is your game, or at least what you hope your game will be. And I can't stress enough, make sure your idea is solid. We've made some videos before about game design documents, and I think that especially if you go into this for the first time, your game idea needs to be solid because you will be very confused when you're like developing your game later on. So you wanna have something that you can always look back to. So you know what exactly is it gonna be that I'm going to be making. Generally, on top of that idea, I wanna talk very quickly about genre as well. For the most part, I think any genre can work. I would just stay away of RPGs, ideally, as well as any Thing that's multiplayer because these things greatly complicate like how technical you need to be to make your game and once again i'm assuming you don't really have any technical skills any idea is almost good but make it a single player game and make it not do like crazy that's what i really want you to do and spend like a week just thinking about the idea and making sure you have it all written down somewhere now once you have that idea it's time to actually make the game and this is where a lot of people get stuck. And in my opinion, there are three main ways that you can get into game development. And I would follow these in order as well. I think the first thing you should try out is follow any like pre-made coding tutorial. There's like plenty of them. CodeMonkey has a bunch of them. Brackies has some of them where you just step-by-step step follow everything someone on YouTube does in like an engine of choice. And you look at what are all the steps involved in game development. And here I would use an engine that like requires a bit of coding. The point here is to test your affinity with engines and with code. That's what I would really go for because maybe you've never coded before, but you can still pick it up. This is basically the litmus test to see, first of all, do you like just making a game? And second of all, do you like the, the technical aspect of making a game? So follow the complete tutorial and then maybe when there's like a jump mechanic, if you're following like a platformer tutorial, tweak the values a bit and play around with it. This is something that should only take you like a few days at most to like go through the entire tutorial start to finish or you even have ones that are like one hour, but go through it all. And then you'll generally have a feeling of, do I wanna pursue programming or is this like, no, I just wanna do like something else. I just wanna focus on like mechanics or whatever. Or maybe you're like, you know, actually my game isn't that difficult. I should be able to make more on art or I just wanna tell a good story. If you're like, programming is great, perfect. Then go for a technical engine is what I would suggest still. I think something like Godot could be really nice here where it's not that technically deep, it's not overwhelming and you can still make some pretty solid games with it. On the other hand, if you're like actually programming not for me, no problem, then I would suggest you look into low code or no code game engines. Some great examples of this are Game Maker Studio. I know sometimes it gets a bad rap, but some really good games have been made in it, as well as something like Construct, or if you just wanna tell a story basically, and you wanna go more for a visual novel, get something like RenPy. These are engines where your coding is very, very limited. And if there is coding, you can usually do like a visual drag and drop, like block-based system. And it's really easy then to make games where the focus isn't really on the mechanics, but it's more on the gameplay itself or like the art style. And you can make some really great games with that as well. Now, I wanna give a third option as well. If you feel like you have a good idea, but you don't have the technical skills whatsoever. So maybe you're just an artist and even something like Game Maker Studio is a bit hard for you. You can always try and look for someone to team up with. This is a bit more difficult, of course, and not everyone will be able to do it. But if you can find someone, maybe a friend or even someone online who is also interested in game development and who can also complement the gaps you have. So for example, you're a really good programmer 
and you have an idea, but you are horrible at art, maybe you can like find an artist or the opposite. If you are an artist, but don't have a programmer, maybe one of your friends does like some programming on the side and you can convince them to join you in making your first little game. I also want to quickly plug like our Discord server. We have a, a dedicated channel there as well where you can look for other people, you can like pitch your idea and maybe someone else is like, hey, actually I do have the skills you need. Let's see if we can work something out and let's see if we can make this game together. I'll link that in the description below. We're like working quite hard on making the Discord a nice place. So if you haven't done so, please join that one. And no matter which one of those three options you take, this should allow you to technically make a game. I say there should. What do I mean by that? I think the biggest problem new developers have is their expectations. I made a video before where it say that don't start with your dream game idea and I think that's still true. I think you should take your grand idea you have and maybe take like a little slice of it. Take like some mechanic or some puzzle aspect and just focus on that part first and see how long it takes to make that thing a reality already. Because making games, and I know especially for beginning developers, they often want to make the new Zelda. There's a reason there's not that many like Zelda-like or Final Fantasy like games out there, they're just really hard to make and even harder to make well. So keep your scope down. I think something like Game Maker Studio, if you go that route, it's really easy. And because there are some limitations of the engine, your scope will automatically get limited as well. Whereas if you go for a like fully coded approach, you may lose like a month on developing some mechanic that because you don't really know yet like how to program and such. And only then really realize that, well, I'm wasting too much time on this and it's not worth it. Also, be realistic about what your game is going to deliver for you. Why do you want to make the game? Is it because you just want to do like a fun side project and it's like a new hobby, you've always liked to play games and you want to dibble your toes into making your own game? Or do you feel like, oh, I want to make games because I think it's an actual great financial thing. I'm going to sell so many copies and I'm going to get so rich. In which case, I just want to like give you a quick reality check. That, yeah, you're in the wrong industry. Making games is really fun, but you're not going to get rich from them. And especially if it's your first game, I think if you can get like 10 sales already, it would be a very big win. Now, I don't want to like get completely down on you. I think you should make a game still. And that's why I'm also like take the little slice because it's normal that your first game won't perform that well. But by going through the steps completely and even like putting it on a Steam page, for example, which I always suggest you to do, even if your game is like quite basic, it teaches you so much about the entire game development process because there's so much more to games. There's also things that will come into play, such as marketing, which is something no game developer usually thinks about in their first games. And I want you to go into game development already thinking about these things. I don't want you to just like make 10 different prototypes of small different games, but never go through like the full start to finish, even if it's your first game of how do I make a game and put it on a platform. I want you to actually take a small game and go through the entire loop by going through the entire process of like making the prototype, then like fleshing it out, playtesting the game, and then finally like putting it on like Steam, for example, and trying out some marketing ways as well. You're gonna learn so much more than like infinitely making like different prototypes, but never like really going past that, never making something that is like demoable, that you can do playtest switch or even like put on Steam. These things you learn a lot less from. If it's your first game, you can also put it on itch, but generally I prefer to go for directly for Steam because you'll learn so much more because it, Steam gives you a lot of marketing tools as well. Whereas itch is, you know, it's more to put something in the void out there, but not always will your game get picked up at all. Your game also won't get picked up on Steam, but you'll learn a lot more by going through the entire Steam process as well. I hope this like helps you a little bit in getting completely started. I think once you've made your first game, take a look at the other video I made where it's the, the three months thing. This is truly if you're brand brand new for game dev. And in which case I'd say welcome. It can be very daunting to make a game, but I think it's really fun and you'll learn a lot in the meantime as well. Anyway, that's all I really had to say. If you're new here, we're game developers, we've made our own game, and I like to talk about the process of making games, some things that we learned whilst we were making our games, and also just show you a bit more about what is life like when you're a small studio like us, and you're trying to like keep everything afloat. If that's something that interests you, be sure to head down below and maybe subscribe as you get these videos twice a week. Also, if you're a new game developer, you're gonna wanna hop into our Discord where we can help you out a lot as well, give you some advice, you can interact with other developers, and like I said before, maybe even meet someone that you can like partner up with. That's all I really have to say. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.